Welcome to part five under practice problems, uh, waves, vibrations, and sounds. Again, let's get started right away. The crests on a long surface water wave are 20 meters apart. And in one minute, 10 crests pass by. What is the speed of this wave? Again, we know that speed is wavelength times frequency. Remember, frequency has to be per second. So it's very simply. Uh, we know that it's going to be 10, uh, 10 cycles per minute. Convert minutes to seconds. So you multiply by one minute over 60 seconds. And that will automatically convert it to hertz. 10 waves per minute is, is not hertz. But if I know that I'm converting minutes to seconds, then that automatically, you know, that whole portion of the equation uh, converts to uh, actually one-sixth hertz. And 20 times one-sixth would be 3.3 meters per second. Easy. Radio waves are electromagnetic waves that travel at the speed of light, which is 300 million meters per second. What is the wavelength of FM radio waves received at a 100 megahertz on your radio dial? Okay, let's look at this for just a second. Uh, this chapter is on, chapter 25 is on waves, uh, both radio and sound. Uh, so it would make sense that light waves were looked at briefly. So uh, the, the frequency, the, sorry, the velocity is 300 million meters per second. The frequency is 100 megahertz. So now all I have to do is find the wavelength by applying the very basic equation that we've seen before and that is wavelength equals velocity over frequency which equals 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second which is the velocity divided by 100 megahertz 100 times 10 to the 6th hertz and when you when you on your calculator when you put in 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by 100 times 10 to the sixth uh, you see meters per second over Hertz is automatically going to be length wavelength and that's going to be meters so that's going to be 3 times 10 to the eighth divided by 100 times 10 to the sixth is 3 and the answer is 3 meters all right next the wavelength of red light is about 700 nanometers nano means billionth or 10 to the negative 9 or <clears throat> 700 nanometers would be 7 times 10 to the negative 7 meters the frequency of the red light reflected from a metal surface and the frequency of the vibrating electrons that produces it are the same what is the frequency so you're given wavelength you're given uh, well, you know the speed of light, and you are going to uh, calculate the frequency. Speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. That's the speed of light. So looking at the what's becoming a very standard equation, uh, frequency, F equals V over lambda. That's lambda. It's a Greek letter. That's lowercase lambda. But first, I just simply have 700 nanometers equals 700 times 10 to the negative 9 n nano is 10 to the negative 9 so you're substituting in uh then meters so 700 nanometers is 700 times 10 to the negative 9th meters which equals 7 times 10 to the negative sorry 700 nanometers equals 700 times 10 to the 9th meters which equals 7 times 10 to the negative 7th uh meters it, that's actually proper scientific notation for right and then you simply plug in 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second 
divided by 7 times 10 to the negative 7th meters is going to be 4.3 times 10 to the 14th hertz. Now you see that, you see the, in, the, in the problem there it says 10 to the 8th divided by 10 to the negative 7th. Well, that would be 10 to the 8th minus, or so, sorry, 10 to the 10 to the 8 minus a negative 7, which would be 10 to the 15th. So uh, <clears throat> you see that it's going to be in that range. So 10 to the 14th makes sense. 3 divided by 7 is 0.43, so it would be 0.43 times 10 to the 15th, which is 4.3 times 10 to the 14th. So, you know, you're in the right ballpark. You know that if you put anything besides something around 14, 10 to the positive 14, you would be incorrect. And this is an extraordinarily high frequency, an extraordinarily high frequency by ordinary standards. Have a great day, and remember to study, and good night.